and boom. And good morning, I hope everyone's having a fantastic day. My name's Eddie, this is my last game, I swear. Today's video, we're gonna be focusing on the eight flashback players that just dropped this morning and people move fast. There's an entire auction block already. I just finished watching the stream and all the cards are already on there. It's just crazy. But there's eight uh, players in total that just dropped today. And there's a total of four offensive, four defenses. So defensive. So all we're gonna do today is go to the auction block, compare, look at the players, and compare them. Uh, see if they're worthy of you know uh, being on our team. I have a 77 overall team. I am not that good, but we're building the team that has a purpose. The ultimate team, just just to casually, gradually build a team that reflects our desires. I don't know. Moving on. And the first card we'd be compared today is the Andrew Look flashback. Um, the content just dropped less than an hour ago. So his his price right now is 140k, but I personally don't think it's worth it. Because right now we're gonna compare it to Baker Mayfield. And for a free overall card that takes less than an hour to get, um, his sets his stats match up or even surpass that. For a free card versus a card you have to spend training for, and you can you can make a profit on it. But it's got to be, you know, early on, you know, right when the market is fresh. And comparing these cards right now, uh, Andrew Luck is going for 140,000 uh, coins on the market. So his price will eventually come back down. But it's still a lot to pay for versus a free Baker Mayfield card. Uh, comparing the speed already, it's 77 speed and 75 speed. So it's two off. In gameplay, you're not gonna make that much of a, you're not gonna notice that much of a difference. So Baker Mayfield is gonna win this round. Uh, throw power plus four. Uh, so Baker Mayfield has him be in throw power. He has him matched in play action, and he beats him in throw under pressure. So those three stats are already that three important stats that he beats Andrew Luck in. So include. So in conclusion, I like this Andrew Luck card. Um, oh, awkward nap. <laughs> so in conclusion, I like this Andrew Luck card. Um, I like the art design, but for his price, price, I don't think he's really worth it. And moving on to our first receiver of the flashback promo is me, Marvin Jones Jr. I'm not gonna lie, I like that card art. It just looks nice and sleek. I remember back when he was a. Uh, when he was with the Bengals, Adrian Green was hurt. Uh, he was a good player back then. So when he when he left for Detroit, that was a good decision on his part. I'm glad his career has panned out. And again, comparing the the card to a card that you can obtain for free, the Marvin Jones flashback card, it's going for about eighty four thousand coins compared to a free card that you can get. All uh, by doing the solos and the challenges. I'm a Cowboys fan, so of course I went with Mario Cooper. Um, I plan to have a Mario Cooper on my team for the duration of this month's season. So Marvin Jones, obviously, as the promos come out, new cards will you know rotate in and out of your lineup. But for this early on, you know, uh, phase in Madden, Marvin Jones is a high tier card. But for the price, eight thousand coins. If you want to take the time to get a Marvin Jones card because you're a Lions or a Bengals fan. Or you just need a receiver. There is another option to uh, spend souls. And have you, if you haven't done the theme team yet, uh, Mari Cooper hasn't beaten speed. Jumping by minus three for Mari Cooper, comparing the free card, uh, minus three jumping, which again in gameplay probably won't be as noticeable. Catching is higher on Mari Cooper. Catching traffic is minus three for Mari Cooper versus Marvin Jones. So Marvin Jones, you can trust him more on those, you know, because obviously hit six is a big thing this year. So Marvin Jones, more than likely, higher ratio to hang on to the ball. Spec catch, it's 89. It's actually pretty good. So Marvin Jones, send him on the street, you know, make an aggressive catch, come down with it. So that's a good, that's a good selling point for Marvin Jones. So that's a good, uh, good stat to have. Short round running, uh, Mari Cooper. Again, um, short round running, in and outs, probably won't, won't be too noticeable in gameplay. Medium route running and deep route running. So Marvin Jones, I'm not gonna lie. Upon further review, Marvin Jones, 6'2", 84 speed. What's the acceleration? With 85 acceleration and 85 deep route running, 89 uh, spec catch. Put go deep on him and I'm not gonna lie, Marvin Jones might be a good card. All right. Next, we're comparing Emmanuel Sanders to Amari Cooper. 
again this content just dropped less than an hour ago so all the prices are gonna be up there um he's going for about eight thousand coins i would say he's about a sixty thousand card um his speed is gonna be 80 i don't know why i not comparing him 83 speed 86 jump before 511 then again emmanuel sanders i remember i had his card back in man 15 and 16 like emmanuel sanders is coded differently i love the emmanuel sanders cards they always play fantastic for whatever reason he's 511 but he can go up and jump like uh mega john uh 84 catch and reliable 83 short round running then again um good good medium route running 82 deep running 82 spec catch 82 catch traffic 80 86 jumping i just think emmanuel sanders is gonna be a nice reliable card uh, i think he's more for uh theme teams really but Emmanuel Sanders, trustworthy. If you want to get that card, because you, for me, I would personally get that card because I like Emmanuel Sanders as a player. So for me, Man Ultimate Team, I like to reflect my players. I, I get players that I enjoy. Not necessarily have the best stats, but I enjoy playing with these cards. So Emmanuel Sanders might be on my team in the future. Let's see. Next card we're looking at is Brandon Brooks, a uh, right guard. I personally, <laughs> uh, I have a... A uh, low overall team for now, but so my right guard is at 70 overall. Obviously, he's gonna be in all his stats, but we're gonna be looking at his strength. I know his strength is supposed to be a big factor this year in Madden. Um, so high strength is good so far. Awareness 80, uh, pass blocking again. Uh, the offensive line does not give you enough time to throw the ball this um, this year in Madden. You have to get the ball out quicker. You have to make quicker reads. So pass block 85 pass block. Should be a good, nice, secure stat. So, Brandon Book. Bleh. So, if you want to get Brandon Brooks for your offensive line, for one of your Texas fan, Eagles fan, or uh, you just like to pass the ball, I like to run the ball a lot. So, me, when I'm looking at my offensive line, I'm looking for the run blocking. So, 85 pass block, 79, uh, 79 run block. I personally might skip over this card, but I understand if you want to go for this card because you have a different play style. So, Brandon Brooks, nice looking card. Um, moving on. Next card we're gonna be looking at is Sheldon Richardson, defensive tackle for the New York Jets in this flashback promo. I know he's with the Seahawks, and he was with the Vikings too, I believe. I think he's with the Vikings now. Don't quote me on that. But moving on to his stats: 66 speed, 79 acceleration, 83 strength. So low strength, low block shedding, 70 block shed. For your defensive tackle, you want that block shed. You want that the running back who's going up the middle to boom, run into, run into a wall. Uh, 70 block shit right off the bat. I think that's the one selling point is going to you know, make me turn away from this card. But 84 power move and 68 for finesse mood. I I don't understand this card so far. Maybe I might be proved wrong if I go against some. But right off the bat, 70 block shedding, 60, 66 speed, 83 strength, uh, 84 power move, which is good. Yeah, but for my defense, defensive tackle with a power move, in low block shed that is not a good formula for success so sheldon richardson i don't think you're gonna be on my team this year bud moving on terrell suggs flashback i think it was the cardinals this year so i'm glad he's uh he's staying in the league he's moving on to a new team trying to get something going uh or trying just a nice change of environment but terrell suggs left outside linebacker i personally don't even know who my left outside linebacker is oh anthony Barr. anthony Barr. so comparing him to anthony Barr, a, f a three four linebacker versus typically a four three hybrid Comparing Terrell Suggs to Anthony Barr is going to be a little uh, a little different. I use Anthony Barr as a user. I like the speed and covering the field with a 6'5 frame. Terrell Suggs, you're going to put him on edge. You're going to ignore. You're going to leave him there and trust that the computer, you know, the animations will take over. So Terrell Suggs, 3-4 uh, linebacker versus a hybrid 4-3 linebacker is going to be a little different. But that's just comparing my linebacker to, to, to Terrell Suggs. Uh, 71 speed and a little slow. But then again, he can so somehow still get to the edge, stop the run, get to the cornerback. Um, 77 acceleration, 83 strength. I don't know why I'm on this stats. 83 strength, uh, 82 tackle, 88 play rag. So screens, he might be able to get back in the, in the backfield, tackle the running back for loss. 79 block sheds, not the best, not the worst. Uh, 85 power move, 64 finesse move. So 83 strength, 85 uh, power move, and 79 block shed. It's a decent linebacker. Then again, we're in the early stages of mud. Um, if you want to just get this card to build your team, bolster up the you know your defensive uh, line or as a backup. Uh, Terrell Suggs, I don't think he would ever be my starting linebacker. Uh, just for the speed sake, um, I can deal with low block shed, but... Um, if he had higher speed, that would be a, little, a different story. But uh, Terrell Suggs, overall, nice, nice, reliable 
decent card. Moving on. Jason McCourty is going to be probably the best card of the bunch of the promo. Um, I remember Jason McCourty. I was always rooting for him to like join a different team because his brother played for the Patriots and he kept winning all these Super Bowls, but Jason would still on the tight end. I was like, come on, man. Um, he had a little football game app. Uh, Jason McCourty, I'm, I'm a fan of him. Um, so I'm, the card art looks nice. I'm liking this one. This is the card I'm most excited about so far. Uh, comparing him to my corners, again, I don't have a sack team yet. I'm still building, but comparing to AJ Boye, um, his speed is, he's 5'11", 87 speed. What's his jumping out? 82 jumping. It's workable. Um, I know 87 speed matches Marshall Land more for like the fastest corner. So at 87 speed, 88 acceleration, 84 agility, enough agility to shift and play on the ball. 82 jumping, like I just mentioned, 83 play rec, 83 man coverage, 81 zone, 84 press. Nice overall good card i personally would like to have jason mccordy i'll probably put him at my slot because i know aj boye is a uh, six foot and a key to leave uh 78 speed i just now noticed that i need to get a new corner um i'm trying to make a video on a uh lineup update as well but jason cordy um i do like this card like i just mentioned is probably the best of the flashback promo so far uh, i would not mind having him on my team uh jason cordy officially approved and you're going from around uh He's going for around 124,000, which it's good. Um, the market price might reset, but I feel like Jason McCordy's card might stay around that range too. So, uh, again, good card. Moving on. Um, last card of the promo we'll be going over is Tony Jefferson. He's always had a nice high overall card. Um, I think he's always been more of a box safety. Me personally, uh, jo Tony Jefferson, I don't ever use my safety um, in the slot position in the box. I keep my safety either deep or I use my safety like right right below the free safety. Um, so Tony Jefferson, he has 80, 80 speed, 84 hit power. Again, if you play him in the box, he'll make some, uh, some plays for you. But in the box, I want my nice, tough, uh, high strength linebackers or or like a Jamal Adams who somehow has magic formula to making plays. But Tony Jefferson, 80 speed, 82 acceleration, 84 hit power, 91 play rec. That can come in handy as well. Um, Tony Jefferson, I like the card. Keep him in the box. Don't play him too deep unless you want to, unless he's your best safety. Unless, uh, but Tony Jefferson is the card. It doesn't really get me too excited. Uh, I'm just saying like if you, you know, Cardinal Steam team, uh, keep him as your strong, starting strong safety. But me personally, Tony Jefferson, it's an okay card. I'm not really too excited about it. But, all right, and that concludes today's video. Just a brief overview of the flashback promo. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, my name's Eddie, this is my last game, I swear. Again, I'm just starting out this channel, trying to help it grow. I'm trying to learn, uh, learn the best way to engage and entertain with all of you. Um, if you see this video, like, subscribe, so I know I'm doing something right. But stay tuned for more gameplay, more coverage of Madden 20 Ultimate Team. Y'all take care and I will see you soon. I swear to God, man, I'm gonna make it soon. Silence all the haters as they see us making moves. I do what I want.